Kitchen and the very broken-hearted Patrick Little. Pat. Thank you. Joe and Chrissy from Whole Foods are here, and I was down about the ex-girlfriend that broke my heart when I was back in high school, but I'm even really more down because we're talking back to school absolutely. already? Yes, absolutely. All right. I, my kids are excited to go back to school. I think a lot of parents out there are probably pretty excited that the kids are going back excited. to school very soon as well. So what do you got? Well, today we're, uh, we're going to do a, a spin on the BLT sandwich, and uh, we're working with uh, a firm tofu, and it's a great substitute and a healthy choice for kids to go back to school with. Wow, how do you convince kids, though, that stay, instead of the PB&J, go with the, to the tofu? Well, once you send it in their lunchbox, do they really have a choice? Uh, probably not, <laughs> unless they can sell it to one of their classmates. That's true. So uh, talk about some of these ingredients. Well, what we're going to use is our uh, extra firm organic tofu, which is uh, there's three different uh, textures to tofu. Uh, we're going to use the extra firm, which is easy to work with. We're also going to use avocado as a basic spread instead of mayonnaise, which is definitely a better and healthy choice. Right. Uh, cucumbers and lettuce for toppings, and we have a great base that we put on top of the tofu for a marinade, uh, marinade which works really, really well. All right, a little tricky to prepare, but uh, definitely better for you than some of the snacks that some kids have in their lunch boxes. Uh -huh. So I uh, look forward to hearing more from both of you about uh, tofu and the experience. I'm looking forward to trying it, I think. Never had it before. You find the recipe online at foxprovenance.com. Back to you. Whole Foods. Yes, I am. We're talking. We're talking tofu this morning, and uh, I want to get to your school lunch program in just a moment. But what I think is really interesting is I'm not a vegetarian, but I, I do eat a lot of tofu because tofu it's a great, hot, nutrient dense, high protein source that you can throw in anything, and it starts to people think, oh, I don't know, I you know, I don't know about tofu the flavor, but really it just kind of mimics the taste of whatever you you cook it with. So it really enhances, in in my opinion, what uh, what you've already made. What do you like about tofu? This particular sandwich is actually great. You mentioned protein. This sandwich mm -hmm. is going to have 20 grams of protein. So you're going to send your kid off to school with a lot of protein. Mm -hmm. And I personally like tofu. The three different varieties, if you use extra firm, firm, or if you use the silken, you can make anything from breakfast that to dinner. That silken is really good. Or pudding. I would just eat that. I, the chocolate silken, right. I would exactly. just eat. But do you have to use a tofu press to get it to get it as firm as you want when you're putting it on a sandwich like this? Absolutely not. What you do is uh, you open your tofu, you curl it out, Put down some paper towels and drain the water out of it, Easy. which really Easy peasy. makes it really simple. Just real quick, tell me a little bit about the school program that you have. Yep. So this recipe is from our whole deal booklet. It comes out every couple months. This is our newest one for back to school. Um, it's got great recipes in there. This recipe, like I said, is in there. Um, and there's actually a contest going on where parents can go on and submit the, what they're packing for their kids for lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to see a protein, a whole grain, a fruit, and a veggie. You go on and submit your ideas, share them with other parents, and you can win a $50 gift card at the oh, end. Oh, so. that's great. I love that, because especially because I like looking at other people's recipes and thinking, what do they do with these? ingredients. So that's great. In just a moment we're going to make up these uh, sandwiches, but for now, over to you. All right, I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone here because we're talking about healthy food. I mean, I'm trying to readjust my eating patterns, but you know, Elizabeth walked in and she's like, oh my gosh, I use this on this, I, I do, use can this we talk on about this. It for one and second? I'm like, what is this stuff? Can we talk about it for one second? Sure. Because I really do love this. Um, these liquid amino acids, I just um, picked this up. I haven't used it yet, but it's a natural soy sauce alternative. Absolutely. And what I like about this is that if you're trying to build muscle, aminos are the building block of like, I don't know, proteins and then muscle and that sort of thing. So this is a great thing to have. Another thing that I use a lot is this nutritional yeast, actually this very brand here. And I throw it in all sorts of things because especially for vegans and vegetarians, I am not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, but this is particularly good because there's a high amount of protein. It's like 8 grams of protein, 6 grams of carbs, and a lot of B vitamins, uh, which are just really, really healthy for you. So in any case, I am excited about this. I walk, Just a little. But see, I walk right past that stuff when I'm in the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, well, you know, this is kind of like, this. I think what we're making today is a little bit of the foundation for good health. And then you can, you know, step up and add, add more and more things as you learn them. But tell me a little bit about this because tofu. you really like working with tofu. I do, absolutely. Uh, first thing about tofu tofu is that it holds the text, uh, takes on the flavors of anything that you use very, very well. And what we started with today was uh, a little bit of smoked paprika, a little bit of the Bragg's liquid aminos, mm -hmm. a little bit of a uh, tablespoon of the nutritional yeast, and a little bit of water. You mix it together and let the tofu sit in there for about 10 to 15 minutes to marinate, and there you go. It comes out and it holds its texture and color and 
the flavor very well. I mean, you said, that, but you said to slice it thinly. Yes, uh, most people are thrown off by the texture of tofu. Right. Sometimes it gets a little chewy, it could be a little mushy. But if you slice it thin and you bake it at a nice temperature, 350 to 400, it comes out nice and thin and looks pretty crispy. And the texture goes away; it really firms up nice. So you haven't baked this yet? No, we have not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shows how bad I am. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. I mean, you could eat it this way, but you I, I prefer okay. you don't. I mean, um, it does get really mushy that way. But um, what you want to do is just marinate it, put it out on the pan, mm -hmm. put it in the oven. You know, 15. Uh, the recipe that we're using calls for a half hour. But I say it, when it slices thin, you really don't want to go a half hour. Okay. I would say anywhere 15 to 20 minutes, turn it after 10 minutes, and it, it bakes up very well. And what's the temperature? Uh, anywhere from 400 to 450 for this for this style. Okay. Um, but tofu is usually cooked at a lower temperature, around 300, 350. And here's the thing. For people who haven't used tofu before, it's just soybeans. That's it. So what you're doing is you're getting, you know, the pro and it's high protein, again, low carb. Right. And, uh, and you can flavor it, like you said, to be anything. All right. So what's the next step? Well, what you want to do is uh, you take your bread. And you want to spread out a little uh, avocado on the bread there. Nature's butter. Yes. I actually have some prepared, ready oh, to go. Nice. Okay. And Move look, the, out of the so way. Patrick, okay, you can yeah. see the, the tofu gets a little more um, firm and a different color after, after a while. So I wouldn't have to put, you could just eat it. Like as an appetizer, just kind of chew on the tofu instead you, you of putting can. it in the sandwich. I mean, you can always get a little dip or something to dip it in if you want. Now, with young kids, I cannot imagine trying to convince my children to eat what you're making right, right now because it's so hard to get kids to try stuff. Well, I think, first of all, these, the nice thing is the, the, these shapes are, are kind of neat. You can call them anything you want. You can call them toe sticks, yep. you know, or something yeah, like that. You can like give them a fun tenders. name. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They're just like chicken tenders. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> Trust me, Connor, it's chicken. You know, when I, <laughs> <laughs> when I, uh, when I babysit, um, I... I ask people if they want color fries, and then we just chop up some orange, green, yellow uh, peppers, and then ju they just snack on those. But in any case, All right, I'm going to put the sandwich put this together, yeah, so that goes there. Is that how this works? Well, you can do it anyway. That's okay. fine. The tofu can go down, and then you want to put down some lettuce. Okay. A little, I'm going to steal from below here. Right, absolutely. Okay. A little lettuce and a little cucumber on top. Okay. A little lettuce. I mean, you can always add anything you want to these sandwiches, too. That's yeah, healthy little, choices. And I, I love I'm how this is. I'm just going to try one of these yeah, sandwiches. You know, too. sometimes basic is uh, Simple is always better, you know. It gives it a little, little easy to make, but it, it, in the long run, it's outstanding. It's good. It's got some flavor to it, right? Oh, a little All right. Well, All right. Well, it's Listen, acquired taste. It's going to be taste. It's going to taste good for me. I'll keep eating That's it. That's right. Oh, That's this right. Is awesome. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. And uh, where can Thank people you. submit yeah, their ideas for the Whole Foods uh, school contest? Well, you go onto our website, wholefoods.com, Waterman Street, and. Uh, it's a great, great opportunity for moms, dads, whoever does the cooking at home to um, bring in some ideas. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you're thinking. What you're cooking for your kids on a healthy, on a healthy track. And um, it's so important to start your day off on a healthy way. Very so true. Awesome. This That's is great. Better with the dip. I, I will say that I enjoy it better <laughs> with the dip. I'm um, enjoying the weather, although a little humid. Not.